This episode of Tech Syllabites is brought to you by Harry's. Welcome to Tech Syllabites, feed your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton and I love LED light bulbs. Matter of fact, I've replaced almost all the CFL as compact fluorescent bulbs in my house with LEDs. The light turns on instantly, you get better light, they don't vibrate out of their sockets, and so far they're holding up better than CFLs, which seem to promise years of life but die within 18 months. The Cree A19 bulbs I've been using in my house, they cost about 10 or 11 bucks now. An A19, that's light bulb geek for 60 watt equivalent bulbs. 100 watt equivalent bulbs are A21s. So the idea of a $15 LED bulb with built-in wireless remote control, that sounds crazy, right? Meet GE's Link Connected LED Bulb, aka the Link 60 watt equivalent soft white 2700K A19 connected home LED light bulb. Clear plastic over the top, a ring of LEDs under some sort of plastic diffuser lens thingy, and this crazy little U-shaped antenna. It's an A19 60 watt equivalent. It draws 12 watts to generate the standard 60 watt 800 lumens, 2700K, so it's soft warm light, and it should last, quote, 22.8 years, unquote, if you run it three hours a day. 800 lumens is typical for a 60 watt bulb incandescent or LED. Most LED bulbs run at around 10 watts, but an additional two watts, you're looking at an annual operating cost of $1.45 a year. You're really still saving a ton of electricity compared to old school incandescent bulbs that basically turned electricity into heat with a little bit of light on the side. Speaking of light, GE says the Link has a CRI or color rendering index of 90. That's a big deal. CRI measures a bulb's ability to make colors look natural or normal, like they're in sunlight. Sunlight, matter of fact, has a CRI index of 100. That's the top of the scale. Now, a regular old incandescent lamp, pretty much 100. The highest scoring LED I've used so far is a Cree TW, which measures at 93. To be honest with you, 90, 93, you're gonna need a spectrometer to see any kind of difference. You might worry about that weird antenna, but we installed the Link LED in a couple of different lamps and we found no weird light patterns, bright spots, or dark spots. All in all, it's a worthy replacement for anything that'll fit in A19 so far. But is it any good as a remote controlled bulb? I've had my problems with Link devices in the past and I'll tell you in a second. But first, let me tell you about Harry's.com new Truman kit. Foaming shave gel and aftershave, it's the perfect complement to Harry's razors. German engineered blades with a stylish handle delivered straight to your door. Check out harrys.com and use the code TECHZILLA when you check out to get $5 off your first purchase. And trust me, you're going to find out you get some great blades for a lot less money than you spend at the local store. So the Link bulbs require a hub. You'll probably end up buying the $50 Wink Hub or the $50 Wink Hub bundle that includes a pair of LED Link bulbs. That's a pretty good deal. GE hopes that you're going to use the Wink Hub and the Wink app as the center of your connected home. We used to call it home automation. They got support for Lutron and Levitron switches and outlets, quick set and schlage locks, Honeywell thermostats, Quirky's odd little devices like their egg detector, and quite a bit more. Mostly my hope was that this Wink compatible device would work. The Wink and Quirky apps have been, well, less than functional at times in my experience. Wink and Quirky and GE, they're all kind of together in this world. The word flaky comes to mind with a lot of the quirky products and that kind of reflected on the Wink. Almost all their products shipped with features missing. I returned all the quirky devices I bought to use in my home and the Amazon reviews for the Wink Hub show that a lot of folks have had a lot of issues with it. So, did the Link bulb have issues? Not so much. We connected the app to the hub, gave the hub access to our home network, then connected the bulb to the Wink app. It took about five minutes and we had control of our bulb. I will say we couldn't get the Wink app to connect to the Wink hub on my Moto G, but on the LG G3, it worked fine. So, getting back to the Link bulb, it's not instantaneous on or off. Think a one count on, a one count off. Zigbee Wireless is not what I think of as built for speed, but it works. Uh, dimming, by the way, works too. It just doesn't dim very low. It's actually a lot brighter at its lowest setting than most other LED bulbs. We didn't have any additional quirky devices, such as Quirky Spotter, to test out the Wink's robot functions, but the general light bulb switch works. How well it'll work with a dozen lights in your house will be an interesting test, but we weren't going to go out and buy a dozen light bulbs to find out. So, GE's Link LED connected bulb, not as fancy as a Philips Hue, but a lot less expensive. Now, I wonder if I can get the GE Link to work with the Logitech Harmony Home Hub I have running at home, because at $15 each, I wouldn't mind replacing the bulbs in the living room so they turn off whenever movie night starts. Speaking of wireless, check out our review of Tile and the Tile app. We're talking about finding missing stuff with your phone's Bluetooth. I'm Patrick Norton. Thanks for watching this episode of Texela Bytes, and have yourself a great day.